What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to our X-Force first look and overview. In this video we're going to take a look at all the new X-Force costumes and added abilities. Then towards the end of the video I will do a battle featuring two of the new costumes. But there will be plenty more to come after that including a new review of all three of the alternate costumes. So they'll each get their own video. Before we get started I want to thank Hayden for this graphic and now let's go ahead and take a look at those X-Force team abilities. Previous X-Force costumes also received the new ability including Angel. So what exactly does Archangel add? Well he adds Fatal Blow to the fourth action of all Uncanny X-Force members. So that's actually a pretty sick bonus and just imagine all the fourth abilities of all the other members. The Uncanny X-Force Archangel also comes as both a blaster and a scrapper. Some people really dislike this alternate so I think the bonus helps somewhat but I really never thought this alternate was that bad in the first place. This was especially true when they added his virulent augmented ISO 8 and that causes his pestilence to target all enemies. So basically he puts Nano Plague on the entire enemy team. You can find that A-ISO in Season 2, Chapter 4, Mission 4 and it does work correctly now. Then moving on to the other costume that previously existed, the Uncanny X-Force Phantom X. His misdirection now adds, chance to dodge increases for an Uncanny X-Force ally after being successfully attacked to a maximum of 70% and reduces to 20% upon a successful dodge. Now I'll be honest, I saw quite a few misdirection procs. Dodges are already crazy this season so this really kicks it up a notch. Not to mention Phantom X is an X-Force costume that actually gets two E-ISO slots. That makes them unique and the one E-ISO slot is what actually hurts some of these costumes. Now for the first of the new costumes that we're going to take a look at, there is going to be a new Uncanny X-Force Psylocke alternate. It comes in both Infiltrator and Tactician and her X-Force team ability is called Butterfly Effect. Allied Uncanny X-Force members gain Stealthy and True Strike on attacks. That's pretty sick imagine any of the X-Force characters having Stealthy and True Strike. Also we already know how valuable it is to have Psylocke as a teammate. I will get more into detail in a review but the fact that she's a Tactician is pretty special as well. But she only has one E-ISO slot so you're probably going to use her new E-ISO, the one that grants mental coordination at the start of combat, over any of the Tactician E-ISO. Then moving on to Deadpool's two new alternates. He comes in both a Scrapper and a Blaster class. His X-Force passive is Free Candy. Uncanny X-Force members gain Boom Buster on single target attacks. Boom Buster deals increased damage against targets with strengthened fortified, focused, agile, shield, or regen effects. So imagine going against a team with something like the Neurotrope or a character like Heimdall. This is really going to give your single target attacks a boost in damage. But once again he only has one E-ISO slot so you can't even use both of his character specific empowered ISO. And I have to tell you it's a really rough choice for him. Last but not least we have the uncanny X-Force Wolverine. His alternate comes as a scrapper and a tactician. I have to admit I do like the fact that we got some new tacticians in Wolverine and Psylocke. His team passive is Don't Die on Me Bub. Attacks that would reduce an uncanny X-Force ally's health to zero has a 50% chance to reduce the ally to 1% instead. So you have a 50-50 chance to live through a knockout attack. That's not too bad but I'm not a huge fan of coin flips. Especially in this game because it seems like the AI gets it more often than anyone else. But this alternate is definitely worth using and I'm going to use them in plenty of videos to come. Including in his and Psylocke and Deadpool's alternate costume review videos. But first this one's not quite over. We're going to have an X-Force vs X-Force showdown. Their Deadpool got the first turn and now it's going to be our turn for a bang bang bang. This attack does some crazy damage and causes Deadpool to use his E-ISO Resurrect. Next the enemy agent uses the Neurotrope and that will help out our Boon Buster. Then we see the Synthetic Cube bug is definitely still active. Then Psylocke quickly springs forth with something like a 2.2 million damage telekinetic katana. Okay I paused the video and it's actually something like 2.3 million. 
No, I'm not hacking and the video isn't glitched. It's just basically a perfect storm that can come together against, I think, Deadpool only. He has a lot of regen effects and then Boom Buster just ends up lighting him up. So yeah, you can try to get some really funny and exciting damage. And let me know what your biggest hit against Deadpool ends up being. This final mental coordination is going to end this fight and the video. Like I said, there will be plenty more to come, including X-Force reviews and team-ups, all Hell the King videos, and a video on the Mystic. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. Lastly, I want to thank you all for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and share the video. And until next time, good luck and take care.